My name is Terry, and with my partner Ash, mum Tracy, dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan, we are leaving our hometown of Middlesbrough for a new life in France. To restore this beautiful 18th century castle. From living in caravans during winter, to tackling years of neglect, keeping her dry, discovering more about its past, and bringing it back to its former glory. Not forgetting Louis, Sasha, and Patrick. This is Chateau de La Lasalle. having a five minute break from painting in the cottage, I thought I'd go and sneak up on Terry and see what he's up to. So we're in the function room at the minute, that's what we call a function room, it's a family room. So I'm going to go and sneak up on Terry now, see what he's up to. Okay. Okay. I'm going to walk over. It's a bit windy today. Beautiful sunshine, but a bit windy. I can hear some noises. Fantastic chateau. Some, these amazing stairs. Let's see. Have to bear with me, this is my first time. Yeah, yeah. This is our door. This is how we open our door. Because a little kick. And here we are. Mm -hmm. It sounds very noisy because we have a lot going on at the moment. Lots of buildings everywhere. Let's go up these fantastic stairs, which I'm sure you've seen a million times. Absolutely, you never get sick of looking at them. And Terry is right on the top floor. So we're quite lucky we've got the cottage because I wouldn't fancy walking up these every single day, three or four times a day. I'm already out of breath. Here we are. This is, we went up there yesterday to see inside. It's a little bit scary, but here we go. I can hear noises. That's a bath. Oh. We've got a door closed, but here we go. How are you? No, sorry. Hello. It looks like you all right? something out of a horror film at the moment. <laughs> are you alright? Yes, what oh. we're up to. I said I'd just sneak up on you. Let's see what I'm up to. Yes. Um, I'm just in the middle of sorting the windows out because the weather's been absolutely horrendous the past couple of days priorities being to save as many windows as we can um, and with us being up on the third floor um, I'm just tackling the, the two front dormers so on this one I've um, stripped it all down got all of the glass out of each of them um, which I've managed to save which is good mm. um, but all of the woods all completely rotten so we've got a treatment that we're using um, which we um, put on with a pa uh, paintbrush and it um, Puts like strength back into the wood, it hardens all the wood. So then after that we can start using some filler, um, some external filler, to start building the profile um, of the windows back in. And then we can get the glass back in. Excellent. Well, give it a lick of paint and then get the glass back in. <laughs> a little bit more than a lick of paint, are you? Nah, nearly done. <laughs> Next half an hour it'll all be sorted. <laughs> so this is amazing. Yeah, so Terry will show you the view. views. Um, but this it is. is where they'll be. Yeah, so this is like the third floor where we live and this is like the front dormer. We're looking straight up at the turret and then straight down on the front and right the way down to Lala Cell. Um, but you can see the state of the windows at the minute.
So I'm just here working on the windows. Um, these are the little dormer windows on the third floor at the front um, and they're in pretty bad state to be honest. Um, all of the, the little um, cross members had completely just rotted away um, and they were barely holding the glass in. Um, and the, the bottom ledge as well are just completely rotted away. So they've needed quite a lot of work um, to, to obviously save them. Um, what I've done is I've took all of the glass out first um, and then got rid of all of the rotten damp wood. Um, and then there's a treatment that we've got, um, see if I can find it, um, which we put on. And what that does is it hardens all of the wood. Um, so where it's obviously a bit soft and um, brittle, that'll obviously give the strength back to the wood. Um, once we've put that on and that's cured, then we put a filler on, a wood filler. Um, it's a bit like a, a car body filler um, for wood. Put that on um, and start building up bit by bit in layers um, until we get the, the proper profile that we need back for the windows. Um, and you can sort of see here where I've been building all this up. Now all of this had completely rotted away. Um, so I've had to build it all back up so it supports the glass. Um, once I've got it sanded down to the, the size that I need, then I'll be able to give it a lick of paint, get the glass back in and then put some putty on. Um, so it's good, obviously we're doing these and it's just so the, the water tight and wind tight for us up here on the third floor. Um, hopefully they last a few years and then we can look at getting them properly replaced. Um, but for now, obviously we just want to try and save them while we can. But while I'm working up here on the third floor, the views and the front part of the garden are absolutely amazing. So I'll um, show you what I can see now because it's a nice misty morning and it just looks so magical. So I'll turn it around and show you. So I'm just sanding all the uh, old paint off this window. Um, it's coming off relatively easily, to be honest. Um, so once I've got all that off and give it a finer sand, then I can get a bit of paint on them um, and see how they're all looking. Um, and then once the paint's on, then we'll be able to start looking at getting some glass in, which would be fantastic. Um, and then on to the next one. Well, like I said, get all the rest of this paint off up here. Um, and then I've got the other one to do as well. And then give it a going over with the lighter sandpaper. And then the exciting part, getting a bit of paint out.
So now I've got all of the window sanded up on the third floor um, and all filled, so it's looking brilliant. Um, while I was giving it a sand, I took all of the old window mechanism off. So all of that came off. Came off relatively easily, to be honest, apart from one part, which I only just got off. Um, but I took all of that off while I was sanding and give it a couple of coats of paint stripper um, just to get all the old paint off because there was a couple of layers of old paint on there and they've came up fantastic, especially the, the smaller little holders for them. So there's that one and that one. Um, it was just about three coats of paint stripper, um, giving them about half an hour in between each, each layer um, and then just going over with a bit of wire wool um, and soapy water and it just pulls all of the old paint straight off so it's, it's nice and easy as well um, and then giving them a, a bit of a sand just to get the last little bits off and then they're all ready um, and I just need a sweet tar cash see if you can give them a, a little spray in his new spray booth um, and I'm thinking I might go the same colour as we're doing on the radiators um, it'll be quite a nice contrast with the, the white window frames that uh, they stand out quite nice and look quite good so I'll uh, crack on now, putting a couple of coats of paint stripper on this, this last one that I, I couldn't get off earlier. Um, I've just managed to get it off now. So this is the last one to do. And then get them in the spray booth. So I've left my little window bracket, if I give it three coat of paint stripper uh, remover um, and now it's just time to give it a bit of a scrub. So I've just got some lukewarm water here, oh actually it's warm, <laughs> nice and warm. Uh... So now I've got all of the last bits of the paint off. Um, with the wire wool and warm water um, came off relatively easy to be honest with the, the free coat of paint stripper remover as well um, but it's obviously left a couple of little bits in like the little intricate part like the, the little details and stuff like that so just to get the last little bits off um, ready for spraying I've just got a, a little drill with a little um, wire bit on just to get into the, the little nooks and crannies just to get those out um, and then it'd be ready to give it a spray. So once I've done this, we'll go and have a little look, see where Ash is, so I can uh, try and sweet talk him um, to see if he can get the mini spray booth. So, but like I said, I'll get on with this now and get this sorted. So now I've got the last bits of the paint off these brackets um, I need to go on Sweet Talk Ash to see if he'll get them in the spray booth. So I think he's up on the third floor of the shadow. So we'll have a little walk up there and see what he's up to. Hello. Hello. You all right? Good to see you. Yes. We have two. About to start stripping the walls up here. Finally see what's underneath them. Hmm. Take all the delicate trunking off for you. Yeah. Because you want it all keeping and it is all quite pretty wood, so. Yeah. And save the wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not possible, but yeah. We can try and save some bits. And at least we can send it out to people if they're wanting some bits. I'll pull a bit more beef bits off, we'll come off in there, uh, full strips. I don't think it's going to be an overly difficult task. So. Yeah. Good. Um, need a bit of a favour to ask? No. Please? No. Pretty please? What? The window uh, latches that I took off, the windows that I'm doing, it was just to see if you could spray them for us. Put yeah. them in your spray booth. If, if I must. 
It won't take long, they're only small. Oh, it won't take long. It's just this, it's just that, two hours later. <laughs> oh, I'll go and get them and I'll, uh, I'll put them down there for you then. Thanks. What, do you want to do the same as what we're doing the radiators? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. now we can see. So, I can see what they look like then. Grand reveal. And then am I going to get them, have all the ones to do in the shadow after that, or is it just this one that I need to do? It depends if I like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll go and get it. I'll see Enjoy. you in a bit. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Is sanded and um, filled and all prepped ready for painting now so the exciting part of actually finally getting some paint on um, and getting it looking like new again so I've been waiting to get some paint on these pretty much since since we actually bought the shuttle to be honest and um, because they've just been rotting away so much so like I said get a bit of paint on and get them sorted So that's the first coat of undercoat done on this window and I can't believe how good it looks. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it almost looks brand new to be honest um, and that's just with the first coat on. So after this one I'll give it a little sand down um, just where the little raised bits are and then I'll give it another going over with the undercoat um, and then it's just ready for a couple of coats of top coat. Um, and then we can look at getting the glass in. Well, from where it was when I first started. I haven't got any pictures of when I very first started. So what I'll do is once I've nearly complete this one, I'll take you over to the other dormer window on the other side, um, which I haven't started yet. And I can show you just how bad the condition they actually are in. Um, so you can see the, the difference between them. Well, I've got this one all painted now. So I'm gonna get started on this one, on this side. I just all need a good paint. Um, and then we can have a little look at what bits we need to sand on that. To be honest, I quite enjoy painting. I think it's uh, quite therapeutic. And um, just to see the transformation when you're painting from obviously seeing quite rough um, just to, to look so like fresh and clean, um, it, it is. I do quite enjoy it. So I'm just carrying on with the windows. Um, got them all painted now, which obviously have come up fantastic. And I've got the first two pieces of glass in. Um, I've just been trialing obviously different ways of getting them in. And a good friend obviously showed us how to get them in as well. Um, so they've gone in relatively easily, to be honest. Because um, working with putty and stuff like that is a bit of a nightmare. Uh, but we've found a couple of little tricks just to help us along the way. So obviously we've got the recess there ready for it. Um, so the next job is to get our putty. Um, we'll put a nice little layer in there. So the glass has got a, a, um, a nice even bed to bed onto. Um, and then once we've got that done, then we'll be able to um, put some little glass tacks in to hold that in place and then putty over it on the outside as well. Um, which is a difficult part because we have to get all precise with the lines and stuff like that. 
So, like I said, I'll just um, crack on now. I'll put the, the first layer of putty in. Because it's quite cold, obviously we're doing it late in the air now. Um, we've been warming the putty in some warm water. So I've just got a little pan of warm water here just to, to heat the putty up and to heat my tool up as well. Um, and we found that that's the, the best way to, to work it in. So I'll get this open now. I've just got the putty, so it's quite hard at first. So you have to start um, sort of like, I think they're called, called doing it. So it's like making a cake really. You just need to get a bit of heat into the putty. Um, so it's just literally just moving it around in my hands. So we've got a bit of heat and now it's obviously changed the way it is. It's a lot more easy to um, push into the gaps. And then it's got our scraper. And all I'm doing is just pushing it right into the recess. Um, just so we've got no air gaps on out in there. So now I've got all of the um, putty in, got all of that in, I've got my scraper and I'm just going to push it all the way in just so I've got a nice even line right the way around. Um, I've just dipped it in the warm water just so it'll yeah, give it um, a bit more ease as it's gone over as well. I'm just taking the excess putty off because um, I can reuse that. So yeah, so that's all done. So I'll give you a quick look up close so you can see exactly what I've done with the, the first lot of trim and then we can get the glass in. So next stage is a tricky bit, which is the glass. So that's the glass in. Now the next stage is these, which my friend got, which are absolutely fantastic. Because when I've done. Um, windows before we put he obviously use the little tacks little nails um, and it's always a bit touch and go if you're going to smash the glass or not but there's these little glazing pins if you can see them um, which the fantastic you just push them in the side um, use a scraper and it goes into the wood and it holds the glass for you so see it makes life so much easier holding the glass in So now that's all the pins in, with it only being small pins, I've just got four pins um, in just to hold these. And then the next stage is just to fill the whole edge right the way around with um, some more putty, just so we can get a, a nice soft edge like that. So I'm just heating it up now a bit, um, and my scraper as well, just so I can push that in. Oh. A little pan of hot water. <laughs> Right, so I've got the putty ready again now. Like I said, just needed heating up a bit with the palm of hands again. Um, and it's just a matter of just pushing it in. So all I'm doing is just getting big chunks of it and just pushing it right the way into all the gaps um, with the scraper, just so there's no air bubbles or any gaps in it at all. Um, it'll look quite messy at first and then we'll go over it and clean it all up. There we 
go so that's all that in now um, I'll quickly show you obviously because it looks all messy at the minute and then all we're gonna do is come over and scrape all of the excess off just to tidy it all up and now with the scraper obviously I've just had it in the hot water just to warm up a bit and um, we're gonna go along this go along at a 45 degree angle just so we can get the right edge um, but it needs to line up with the um, the beading on the other side just so we don't get any overlap Just taking all the excess off now. And that's it done. We have glass in all three of the panes. I don't know if you can see this bottom one as well. There's glass in that one as well. So that's one full window. All done. Watch. I'm so so pleased with it honestly like I'm, it's it's just amazing I know it's only a small thing getting a window sorted but for the state that this was on unfortunately obviously I didn't take any pictures of the state this was in before I got started on it because I just wanted it done um, but what I'll do is I'll um, take some pictures of the other Dormer window to show you exactly what state they're in um, before I've started so these are all ready now and um, so i'll just have to leave it for um a while just to, to dry i think normally i'm sure it's, it's about two weeks to leave it before you actually paint it properly for it to dry um so i'll leave it as long as i can and um, luckily these windows have little shutters on so i can bring the shutters down just so it doesn't get um any like too harsh weather on it and um, it gives it proper time to cure and then just on this one so i just need to get this one sorted but it's going to be exactly the same process and um, so just putting the putty in and um, smoothing that down putting the glass in putting the little tacks in and then putting the finishing putty around the front to seal it in and um, so I'll crack on with these ones um, and then hopefully i'll have the um, window locker mechanism back because um, I've managed to sweet talk hash to spray those for us so that's good <laughs> um, and we can get those on and I can't wait for the the finished um, piece for it it's gonna be absolutely amazing so this is sort of like a trial run to see um, how easy it is to do if I can do it on my own and the color combination with the actual windows and the locker mechanism if I want to go ahead with that with all of them so it's a bit of a trial run for it all and um, but hopefully it'll all work out and you'll be able to see the final result and see what you think to it but i'll crack on now and get these uh these ones in and i'll show you when it's all done So now we've got the first of the dormer windows done on the front and um, while the weather's nice I've um, took one of these skylights off the rear of the shadow roof and um, this one was quite bad um, I'll be able to show you a picture in a minute of it um, it was only tacked on with some metal sheets um, and obviously they've failed after a while and it's been letting all the water in and um, it's the only point left on the roof where it's still letting water in and then that was leaking into the loft space and then that had gone straight through into what will be our bedroom on the third floor um, so obviously it's a priority to get this sorted but while the weather's nice obviously i can get it all stripped down get some glass in and um, put some putty around it and then let it set for a bit and hopefully try and get it back in um, but like i said this one was in pretty bad state um, obviously the sheets are literally just coming off straight away um, it's quite a, a decent size skylight to be honest um, so this is a skylight but the tin sheets are literally just coming straight off on both of them so it wasn't a difficult job taking them off um, 
and then obviously that's the support so we can open it and then like I said we're going to get some glass in um, so it gives a bit of light up there and then I've got one more to do which is a bit smaller which will be in what will be our kitchen eventually so hopefully I can try and get these both done um, what I'm going to do next is now they've come off relatively easily um, I'm going to clean all of the edges down obviously where it's been tacked it just needs grinding down a bit so it's all flat um, and then um, sand the edges just so the, the new putty's got a, a decent key to go on to and it's nice and clean it's not got all the dirt on there once that's done then I'll be able to do the same as what I was doing on the windows so warm the putty up warm my um, scraper up and get going with it so yeah so I'll crack on now now the sheets have come off it's uh, on uh, giving it a clean So that's all like, nice and cleaned up now. Um, I'll have it. A little look, see if the um, glass fits in. Oh. Hopefully it does. been heating the scraper up and it's just to push down so I just need to do this edge now so pop it in give it a bit of pressure And then you can just slice off the excess. just here at the second um, roof light that I've done and um, this is obviously the one that's going to be in our kitchen eventually when we get sorted um, but the good thing with this one is when we got the chimneys um, rebuilt and rendered there was a beehive um, actually in it now we need a special license to get rid of them anyway in France 
um, but we wanted it leaving, so the builder had left it. Um, and now when you look out, you can see all the little bees obviously going at the beehive. Um, and it's just, it's fantastic to look at. So, and Ash is um, a bee lover. He wants beehives and stuff around the, the grounds of the chateau anyway. So it's fantastic when we're in here in the kitchen um, and we look out of the little roof light, then we can see all of the bees buzzing around going into the beehive. So yeah, it's good, but I'll uh, get a closer look for you so you can see it out of the roof light as well. So, finally got Terry's radiator all done in the, the colour that he's chosen, he's not seen it yet. Um, and we've got his uh, window clasps done as well. So we've no idea if he's going to like them, so I'm just going to go and have a look, see how they've turned out. Should be dry now, I've had my, my paraffin heater on in there, so let's go and have a look. done a good job um, so we've done a couple of coats on it Terry wanted them in a nice copper finish I'm not sure how coppery it's looking but they are looking really nice so hopefully it'll be the desired effect um, he wanted a bit of age still looking to them so they're not absolutely pristine but it's exactly what he wanted hopefully so let's see how um, he likes these ones and he hasn't seen it yet, but we've also finished the first radiator so we can get an idea of what they're going to look like. So, here we go, final finished colour. Terry hasn't seen it yet, so like I say, he's hopefully going to be really excited. I think I've done a really good job of it. Um, Consider I've never spray painted before, it looks really good. Um, yeah, so we just need to get them up in the uh, chateau now, which is easier said than done. Okay, so we, Ash has just been shouting in his little spray booth to say that he's finished the latches for the windows. So I'm going to quickly pop down, see where he is, have a quick look, then we're going to shout Terry because he hasn't seen him yet. And I'm sure he'll be very, very, very pleased about him. It's absolutely amazing it's wonderful. Here we are at Ash's little spray booth. Here we are. I think he just hides down here really away from Terry. Let's have a look inside. Can you see that? You're okay, there's no hiding from Terry. <laughs> just making sure they, these are properly cured now. So yeah. I think we should uh, take them, see what he thinks. Yep. He hasn't seen them yet. So. We'll get Rapunzel from his golden tower. Yeah. Come on then. They're looking good. They do. Uh, and They're that's the radiator. Bad. Look how super they are. Looks nice in the light. Yeah. You can see yeah, 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 yeah. I think they're fantastic. Okay, we're going to have a little pop. <laughs> okay, it's a bit of a trek with those radiators, Ash. Yes, I don't well, envy you carrying. <laughs> I'll have to sack for that. <laughs> you need to fix the wheel first. Yeah. <laughs> you get some solid wheels. <laughs> Definitely. I think you'll be able to shout him, to be honest, Ash. Where are we? Terry! There he is, little Rapunzel. I have a present for you. For you? Come on then. <coughs> Come in running down the stairs. Should have wrapped them at least for him. Well, it? yes, you could have put a little bow on them, Ash. That's all you'd be getting for Christmas, that's a certain. <laughs> You'd be happy with this though. <laughs> there he is. Where have you got for me? Ready. They're the excited, they've done well. Wow. Look at that. It's nice the colour, isn't it? Um, 
Not too it's, bad. It's meant well, to be copper, but it's it is the colour of what the tin is. So yeah. well, it's it's like because you've got copper in it, um, but gold. You can see the ready, can you? The ready yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. It looks. Um, you can see the copper in it. It looks staged as well because it's got like a, a sort of um, hammered. Yeah. Look to it, hasn't it? Well, it is hammering. So no. It's been back, it? Yeah. Yeah. I threw it around there a few times. Now the little latches that go Cursing on. Your name. How was the radiator come out then? You haven't seen that yet? No, no, is it looking You've good? had a sneak down there. You must I haven't. Have I haven't seen any of you. Come have a look. Yeah? Come, come see. We'll have a little look. I think that the radiator I'm dead proud of because that was dead hard. And that was like a process from like, it wasn't just like these where it was, this wasn't too difficult. Yeah. Radiator with it having to be properly sanded down. And it's nice when it goes in the light, it's lovely. Well, the radiators in the light now. So. It's got like a, it's like a, got a rose gold colour yeah. to it as well. Yes, hasn't it? I love him. Yeah, and they've gone really well. I think better than uh, when you said copper to me. I thought, mm, or yeah. bronze, you know. And, mm. I it was be, be a bit brassy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like yes, orangey coloured. Yeah, Halloweeny. See what the radiator is like. You want to do it again? You don't like your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dripping it, undercoating it, spraying yeah. it. That was like a seven-day process. You've seen it, ma'am. Uh, yes, I had a sneaky look before yeah. you. I think it's lovely. Voila! Oh, wow. Gotta be happy with that. Yeah, it's beautiful. I know it looks a bit. Um, it does look really goldy in here, but. Yeah, it looks no. over the top I with think, it being gold, but I think with the, the wood panelling. I was going to say, with the reflection of the wood panelling around it, it'll pull yeah. it down a bit. Yeah. But it is exactly the colour. Yeah, yeah. Well, the colour on the tin, it's got a. Like, like I said, it is. A, a, like a tint. Yeah, it changes mm -hmm. from gold mm -hmm. to like a rose gold. Mm -hmm. um, so when you look at it and the light shines on it, you get um, different tones on it. So well, Considering how rusty these were, we never thought they'd be put back in. No, use, no, so. no. It's fantastic. I can't wait to get it back in the shadow. Oh. Nice. So, really well good. done. Well done. Bravo. Fantastic. Definitely. I love it. <laughs> So I'm just at the last stage of the windows now. Um, Ash and my mum obviously have just took us down there to see the radiator and the actual locker mechanism. Um, it turned out absolutely fantastic. Can't believe how good they are. So I'm just gonna give the glass a little clean now and then we'll get this screwed on. But I think the color combination, the white against like the goldy copper color is gonna look fantastic. So I'll give this a clean and then we can get it on. And that's it all done, both of the windows.
Well, another busy week over and well, nearly over. Aye, it has about. been a been a good one, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Been, obviously, it's another long episode, um, but there was just so much footage from when I was doing the window. Um, I just wanted to show obviously the full process of, of doing one of the windows, and I just need to replicate that now for about fifty. <laughs> I don't know how many windows we've got, to be honest, I haven't counted them. You every, will... every pane is a, uh, is a pane, is a isn't pain. it? Is a, uh, it is. Mm, you yeah. will be a pond, tradesman but... by the end of it. Yeah, doing as them. As well as everything else. Yeah. Well, it saves, it saves obviously paying someone else to do it if I can um, learn to do it myself. Y- so. You've done a fantastic job. Yeah. It, it, they do look brand new. The, yeah. that, that top one now, with the handle on and painted. Yeah. It, 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 even a professional, I don't think, would have done... No. a better job to be honest I am like really surprised with yeah. how well it's turned out with obviously mm. the handle that Ash has sprayed um, mm-hmm. and how well the, the windows like it just looks now with fillet and stuff yep. like that so it has yeah I think the colour on the handles come up really well it was a right choice it uh, was good job he didn't want to uh, change it because Otherwise, I'd have had to step in and paint it uh, black, green, oh. purple, or whatever. Um, uh, you so couldn't have done it white. It would no. have looked awful white. Well, they were white before, and they just... They just they, they they did, there was nothing about them, was no. there? Just handles, weren't there? Yeah, and they're so special, mm. the handles yeah. um, here in France on all of the French mm. windows. The mechanisms and the way they, and just the way they look. Yeah, yeah, You know, they, they do go into some detail, don't they? Yeah. For little things like that. I didn't want them, like, really sort of like in your face garish but I just wanted them to, to sort of like just you sort need of that stand out thing yeah. don't you so um, mm. I mean and the, and the windows have come really well um, obviously it's taken you a while to do the first one but as you're getting on yeah. you will just you'll get into that routine you'll recognise things not yeah. shortcuts but things that you don't have to do because it's all it's all okay yeah and, I think um, that one was the worst window anyway wasn't it uh, it was really bad mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, the other ones obviously I've got the other dormer to do um, and then that's a third floor sorted. Um, mm-hmm. The other ones are obviously a lot bigger windows, um, so it's just on a bigger scale, really. Um, not as fiddly though, so it's not. It, it's a little bit easier actually when they're a bit bigger because you've got a little bit more uh, sort of eye line things you're looking at. You yeah, can, you yeah, can you see can the picture off. better. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I'm sure you'll get through them uh, a lot quicker. Hopefully, mm. hopefully. <laughs> you need to. Maybe next year. <laughs> But, well, after doing the um, the dormer, the, um, when I was doing the skylights, mm-hmm. how yeah. quick I got yeah. those yeah. done. Yeah, that, yes. It's just you mastering the te- once you've yeah. got the technique sorted out, yeah. then, you, then you're okay. Yeah, um, yeah. And yeah. then it's applying it slightly different shape, different profile, but it's exactly the same yeah. techniques. Yeah. Once you've got them cracked, that's it. You, that's you're it. there mm-hmm. for... And they yeah. stay for life. You mm-hmm. won't forget now. It's like I falling know. off a bike. It always hurts. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> yeah, so that's been, like, a fantastic job to do. Yeah. We have got a few conkers <laughs> dropping around us, so if you see us twitching every now and again... <laughs> We're just scared in case one hits us. We've got a couple on the table just to show you what might actually hit us on the head. <laughs> to be honest, we should yeah. really have hard at some mm. yeah. that's going a bit too This far. is more dangerous than the shadow. It is. <laughs> just before filming, we were sat here, one literally just came straight down. <laughs> Luckily, it missed the wine glasses, so everything yeah. was okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, our wine's okay. Yeah, Thank God. that's the best thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the work in the shadow has been fantastic. Yeah, there's um, been a lot more going on. It's not just your windows. You've been doing ceilings and yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. There's other stuff um, that we we just haven't because there's just so much going on at the moment. Yeah. Um, some bits we haven't filmed and some bits we have and we will put in other episodes. Yeah. Um, but there's been like ceilings coming down and obviously mm. you've seen the floors last week coming up in the bathrooms. Yep. So we've been getting layouts sorted for the bathrooms, um, and just trying to find out. It's it's crazy because obviously we're looking at like the the finishing touches for bathrooms <laughs> before you've got a floor or a bath. Yeah, I've got nothing in there. It's it's just it's like a bomb site. Well, it's it's yeah, working. It, we've had because, exactly the yeah. same thing in the cottage. So it's try, where all the pipes to, have to um, go, isn't it? Trying yeah. to run mm. cables and pipes. That's it, why we had a few tweaks in the cottage. Yeah, yeah. A, li- a little bit of uh, second guessing. Bit, you have to. It's yeah. just the only way yeah. to get to get it on. Donkey's just getting a bit excited. Um, <laughs> he's still in our orangery, so <laughs> we haven't got rid of him yet. No. <laughs> but the cottage is coming on fantastic as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, um, leaps and bounds, yep. yep. Well, the weather's been kind to us as well, so mm. we've been able to get some of the little bit of outside work, mm-hmm. finishing yeah. doors and, and yeah. uh, being able to look at uh, finishing some of the windows and things. Just, yeah. just getting some uh, it's, weatherproofing on more It sort of anything. feels like it's going 
slowly in the cottage now but it, it isn't it's just oh, that no. all the big work's been done like all the digging and pulling things out and yeah so all the big hard jobs have been done now so it's just it's yeah. the, the fiddly things the fiddly things take so the time but just, you have to get them right yeah. otherwise <laughs> chickens want to be in the end of show chat as well the, baby, <laughs> the babies are up there as well <laughs> Um, but we've already done like the, the update for this Wednesday um, coming and obviously the work that Mum's been doing on the door is looking fantastic now and then Tony's been doing some work on the upstairs, upstairs. and we've even started to get walls going up there as well yep. mm -hmm. so it's, it's looking That's, fantastic yep. isn't you it? You can we've see, got a one, little um, of, uh, see a little bit of what the layout's going to look like We've got now. one real thing, should I call it, I, I went up the stairs and saw it and I was like we've got yeah. something real! <laughs> And it's in a room. Yes, you've it's actually real. got you've got your first room up there, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's only going to be three rooms to be honest. It's going to be open just with three little <laughs> yeah, rooms. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but the first is there, yes. and so it doesn't look too small. It, it mm. doesn't look too big. It's tucked away nicely. Um, yeah. I, I think yeah. it, it's it was a great compromise, and and I think uh, we fitted it in pretty well. Yeah. yeah. So it was a bit of a committee decision eventually, and uh, everyone's. Everyone's happy, which is uh, it was the way it had to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. and obviously all the comments that you sent in to us as well, obviously yep. that helped We've us listened. just um, yeah. just reevaluate yeah. our ideas and our plans and stuff Change like that. Change things around. Thanks. Yeah. I didn't. I really didn't want to go downstairs in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mum wasn't too fussed. <laughs> um, <laughs> she can see in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like I said, that's. Um, that really helped with sending mm -hmm. the comments in. So thank you so much for sending all the comments in. Yeah. We do um, read through them, um, just obviously with all the social media and all the work and stuff like that. Well, now. Two lots a week now. We do try and get back to as many people as we can, but yeah. there's only so many nights I can stay up till half 11 drinking before uh, yeah. before it takes its toll. And my bedtime's nine o'clock. I have so to it's be in bed. mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's definitely coming along. Um, and now we're starting to see like, actual things happen like the wind are getting sorted the yeah there's, and there's real progress like now um, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean it is still a lot of it is still uh, a building site but it is um, yeah but we we've opened a can of paint or a couple of cans of paint haven't we so we've got paint going on and and uh, stain going on and it's only it white feels <laughs> <laughs> it's better than gray plasterboard <laughs> well yeah <laughs> But it's it, all and we'll be, well. we'll be at that stage in the uh, in the shuttle by Christmas. We'll be having a painting uh, party mm. for Boxing Day. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Definitely. It is going well. It's all really invited. Bring well. a present. Yeah. Bring a bottle. Mm. Get the first drink free. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, well, I'll let you close up, Tom. Okay. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's uh, little uh, little event. And um, as always, if you have, please press like and uh, and subscribe to the channel. Oh. And. Um, I think uh, there should be some details below us for the uh, for the web pages and and all the links. So hopefully, um, well, we'll see you again on Wednesday. And uh, if the weather stays like this, we'll be cracking on for days. Thanks a lot. Bye. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Tracy's loving a wine as well. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. <laughs>